Hey guys, welcome back to Guitars and Garages. Um, today we have another easy one for you. It is a Turn by Tyler Hubbard. And it's really simple. It only consists of five chords and uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right guys, here's these five chords we're gonna use for this song. It's gonna be an E minor, a C, a G, and then sometimes a D. And then sometimes you have the walk down from the G. Okay. So we'll start with the E minor. Um, you can actually anchor this ring finger and this pinky right here on the third fret of the first and second string the whole time. And these will be the only two fingers changing throughout the song right here. Okay. So uh, you'll have to put your middle finger down. 2nd fret of the 4th, and your index finger down 2nd fret of the 5th, and it should sound something like this. And then for your C, you're going to leave those two fingers right here anchored, and you're just going to move your top two to the C. So your index will go 2nd fret of the 4th, and your middle finger should go 3rd fret of the 5th. Should sound something like this. And then we're just gonna slide those fingers up one. So like, we're gonna go up here. Index finger's gonna, this is your G. Your index finger's gonna go uh, second fret of the fifth string. Your middle finger's gonna go third fret of the sixth. And that's your G. And then your D, you have to lift that pinky off. Index finger will be third string, second fret. Your ring finger will be second string, third fret, and your middle finger will go down here. I know it's kind of hard to see there, but your middle finger will go second fret of the first. It should sound something like this. And then there's only like a couple points in the song, you know, they he'll do like a walk down from that G, which is why I said there's five chords, but you know, he'll go. See, and uh, what he's doing there is just your basic G shape. And then you're taking that middle finger off and putting your index finger down second fret of the sixth. And then you're going back to your E minor. Okay, now that we got that, um, the timing of the song is gonna be down, 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 up, down, up. And then it's going to switch to the, from the E minor to the C. And it's going to go down, down, up, down, up. And then the G. Down, 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 up. And then it'll play through that part twice. So it sounds something like this. Uh, now that we, when we get into the chorus, it's going to be this, you know, the same four or five chords throughout the whole song. Um, it's just going to keep going. And at some point you will throw a G in there. So, or a D in there. Sorry. So let's just think of it like this. Um, the chorus starts, it goes for four, uh, four rounds. Okay. So it's going to go. count that as one round. When we go back again now, it's going to go like this. Now it's going to do that walk down. Okay, and now when it goes around for the third time, it's going to go... to finish out the course it'll go for one more round and then when it gets back to that second verse you know it's going to slow down on the E minor 
and then the C, and then you're right back into that same strumming pattern. Well guys, that's it for this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I was able to teach you the song. Um, again, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment down below what country song you'd like us to teach you next. This is Guitar and Garages and we'll see you next time.